Whoa! Well, that's interesting. <laughs> They just keep with the inflictions. Oh god. <laughs> nice. Oh! Boom! Oh. Oh. oh darn. Hey, good fight. I have a knife in my head, rough. Hey. Oh no. Yeah, let's say I think I heard them. Oh, somebody died. Oh. Oh, there they are. Oh, come on! Oh, nice! <laughs> Wait, does he just die anyway? I don't understand what they're trying, trying to do there. <laughs> he just slid off his friend. Limegrave. What am I looking at? Oh, great. Just a hardcore gank, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. I'm definitely not gonna be that naive. <laughs> Must be a new invader. Oi, let's go. Oh, what? We have to play around the... The cannon fire? <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. Let's do this. Wait, what? Where are you guys going? Does that work? Bubbles? Nope, no bubbles. Okay. Oh, oh hey, it's the uh, it's the invader that they just ganked. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Oh. Oh. Hello, invader. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. Big swings. Oh, oh. oh, he's going for the the parry. Nice. Oh, that's sleeping. Double sleep time. Oh, okay. Come on. Oh, oh. Heal. Oh, oh. Nice. Oh, oh. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh. Oof. Awkward. Oh, God. Yep. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh, someone died. Oi. Oh. The host. All right, let's go. Let's do this. It's time for a real fight, host. <laughs> now that they they definitely had a good fight over here, dude. I was watching it, or at least I was watching the health bars. But don't act like you didn't just <laughs> one shot kill that invader when they were low. Oh, they need the heals. Hello. Oh. Sheesh. Good fight. They really did, though. That invader had a fair one with the Phantom, and when the invader was at one, that host ganked him. Oh. 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 oh, no! I was also L2-ing. Oh. Nice. Don't cast a spell. Oh, Halo? Nice. Ooh. Oh, oh. Good fight. Oh. Phantom. Oi, Phantom. Halo sight. Oh. 
Oh god! You gotta react quicker than that. <laughs> Where'd the host go? Oh, the host went down here. Already? Whoop. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go, host. Whoop. Boom! Oh, nope. Halo! Ooh! Nice. Good fight. I was a little worried when I saw the moonlight. Because <laughs> it's it's like very close range. Oh, sheesh. But hey, the halo's hit. All right. <laughs> halo. I'll run in there. Why not? Hello. Oh, God. Oh. No. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. No. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> Can't, couldn't get the bat, the backstab on that. Uh, well, at least we didn't have to fight on the invisible bridge. Oh, oh. Ooh, nice. The halos. Oh god. Piper armor. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh! Whoa! Oh! 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 No rolling attack. Oh, healer! Okay. Oh! 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 Oof! Rolling attack! Oh! Halo? Oh, close. Oh, oh. No! I'm still here! Halo again? Don't do it! Ah! Oh god. <laughs> when is he gonna bleed? Oh, there's the Halo. Oof. Good fight. They focused on healing too much. Super cool. Hi. What up, guys? This is the build I was using in this video. It is my rune level 200 dexterity faith build. I just wanted to use the halo sight today. <laughs> uh, this thing is incredibly cool. I always enjoy using this weapon. Uh, Mikola's Ring of Light is... It can be awkward. But when it connects, it connects for a lot of damage. And it's always nice to have a little bit of a, pro a projectile threat while using dual wield scythes. Dual wield scythes definitely have the good running L1. The jump attack is good. The running R2 can, uh, can catch them off guard sometimes. Pretty much dual scythes have a really good moveset. So to just add on a little L2 that you can just chuck at them, <laughs> it, uh, it can be pretty useful. Um, also, this build has Black Flame Protection, and since I am using Great Jar Arsenal, I am very tanky. I'm at 56 damage negation with Black Flame uh, Protection. Uh, I'm, I'm also using a Sacred Grave Scythe here, since I have the Holy Shrouding Cracked here. Going to make sure I can dip those damage bonuses. It's not a lot, but... Frankly, this build is so tanky, I just really enjoy being able to deal a lot of damage with the Scythe, so I just try to get there as, as easily as possible. <laughs> Pretty much just buff the holy damage, buff both Scythe, go in there with the Claw Talisman and Shard of Alexander. A lot of damage, a lot, a lot of damage. And the fashion is pretty cool, too. I kind of like the cape, and then the scarfs, the hood kind of give... A really uh, like armored Reaper look even though it's yeah yeah it's it's kind of fancy I wouldn't really call it a Reaper but it still works with the size yeah this armor is really good by the way <laughs> I mean, yeah this was a pretty interesting setup here I had Vagabond Night Gauntlets and Godric Knight Greaves here because I just had enough to use all this and I really wanted to use the hood because of the size but yeah, that's pretty much it. 
Really enjoyed using this build. Halo Scythe, still very fun. The L2s can get a little awkward, though. That's pretty much it. Like in hallways and stuff like that. But you can always you can always throw it out there. Get in some running attacks. It's a really, really good initiation uh, moveset, for sure. For sure. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.